everyone, welcome back to Roger Journal. I'm Alice. The fifth issue of this year's Daphne's Diary just survived. It came with a full size hand lettering and coloring booklet. You can practice calligraphy and doodling as well as enjoy coloring. So, if you like stuff like this, stay tuned because I'm gonna do a mini giveaway at the end of this video, including this booklet. So, as always, this issue is full of DIY ideas, inspirations, and beautiful pages. So, I'm cutting out images that I want to use for today's journaling. a mood tracking page this was exactly what I needed so I took the page to edit it in my planner I'm cutting out photographs and page border decorations This issue there was an article about books and one of them was Eat Pray Love. I haven't read the book but I watched the author Elizabeth Gilbert's TED talk about creativity that she did 10 years ago. The title was Your Elusive Creative Genius. I love this so much. Since creativity is a part of us, this community, so I thought it's good to share it with you if there is someone who hasn't watched it. I highly recommend it if you ever had a difficult time with creativity. I'll link it in the description box below. So back to journaling. I chose a blank full page because I knew that I'm gonna cover most of it with the beautiful page from the magazine. I wanted to add some color and brush strokes in the blank space on the left to make the page background more interesting, so I painted this pink colored finger paint. I'm ripping the edge so the borderline between the background and the Daphne Style page looks natural. Then I added a double-sided tape in the middle near where the page is folded because it could be tricky to work with only glue stick to make a paper to stick perfectly in this area. Now I'm fixing the elements with glue stick. I added wash tapes at the bottom right corner to make the text less visible. This is the most fun thing we did on this page. I found a seam binding that I dyed with distress of sidings. I love that it had a color for gradation and the colors matched perfectly with the page. To add this ribbon to the page, I cut 1cm every 1cm. The seam binding was 1.5cm so I could cut the same width but I thought it would make the ribbon lay too flat. That's why I cut narrower than the ribbon. So I'm passing the ribbon through the paper cuts. I really love this way to add the ribbon to the page. I'm adding little elements to finish the page. This is vintage doily and hanky printables that I made from my vintage collections. I fell in love with them. 
they are great to add a different texture to the page but you can write on it also they have high resolution so i can change the size whatever i want it's amazing so i cut one of the doily in half and add it on the right side to make a journaling space I'm not sure that I'm gonna make printable kits for my shop with them. If there's anyone who wants, let me know. Lastly, I stamped the date. I did first with Distress of Side Inks to make colored fading effect, then I did a real stamping with Versafine Ink. This is how today's journaling page turned out. I really love it. Love the summery colors and fruits. This page reminds me of picnic in a park. I hope you enjoyed watching this Stephanie Steyer journaling process as much as I did. So now let's talk about the giveaway. It's not big, it's rather extemporary. As I mentioned earlier in this video, this month's Stephanie's Diary came with a full-size hand layering and coloring booklet. It is so beautiful and looks interesting. They have been including little booklets like this in their recent issues. I love them, but I realize that I don't really use them. I always said to myself, later one day, but they have just piled up on my shelf, so I thought it's better that they go to someone who wants them and use them rather than sitting in my shelf. So, I took little booklets, sticker sheets, and posters from the magazines, also some postcards. Let me show you one by one. I took six booklets. First, this is for the drawing book. This is called Friendship Book. It has cute animal illustrations. This one has mini fruit cards. This is a diary. This one has dotted pages, so it's perfect to be a bullet journal. And this is on the road game book. And there are six sticker sheets. This one has labels. Always great to have more labels. This is from this month's issue. It is flowers and butterflies. I love the colors. This one has gem labels and wash tape stickers. This is Valentine's Day stickers, birthday stickers, and the last sheet. So they were stickers. And I have six posters. They are very big. They don't fit in camera at all. This is vintage botanical poster. And this one, you can cut them out and make a garland. This is a family tree. Only this one is the half size. It's botanical coloring poster. With this one, you can make a kite. And this is from this month's issue. You can play word finding game with it. And the last beautiful postcards, they all have a different bag designs. I love Daphne's diary style, the color schemes, illustrations, and fonts. So, to enter this giveaway, first you have to subscribe my channel if you haven't yet and write a comment below. That's all you need to do. I'll draw a winner next Friday, which is the 2nd August. I'll write the details in the description box and in the comment section. I hope that they find new home and the winner really enjoys them. Let me know if you have any questions. I think next week's video will be Daphne's Diary Journaling 2 because I used only like the half of what I cut out from the magazine today and I have to do more Daphne's Diary project and journaling because I have lots of them piled up on my shelf. The only reason I don't give them away is because they have some missing pages because of the journaling or journal making I did. 
I hope you enjoy the journaling process that I shared today. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching and good luck with the giveaway. Bye bye!